Have you seen people who have injured their hands or legs wearing a white cast? Have you seen dentists using a mold-like substance to get an imprint of a person's teeth? This is Plaster of Paris. Know more about this amazing compound in this video. We have been using this compound for ages for making toys, decorative material and blackboard chalk. In chemistry labs, it is used to seal the laboratory apparatus to make it airtight. It is also widely used in medicine for setting fractured bones. Yes, we are talking about Plaster of Paris, a white-colored powdery substance chemically known as calcium sulfate hemihydrate, having the chemical formula of CaSO4 half H2O. It combines with water vigorously with the evolution of heat and solidifies into a hard, porous mass in 5 to 10 minutes. Let's study this change at a molecular level. Plaster of Paris comprises rhombohedral crystals of calcium sulfate hemihydrate. On being added to water, these crystals change into monoclinic crystals of calcium sulfate dihydrate, CaSO4 to H2O. These fine needles of dihydrate get interlocked to form a solid mass which occupies more space. This process is called the setting of plaster of Paris. It is due to this property that Plaster of Paris finds its application in all the aforesaid areas. Does the Plaster of Paris exist in nature? No, it is prepared from gypsum, a soft sulphate mineral composed of calcium sulphate with the chemical formula CaSO4 to H2O. When crushed, gypsum is fed into a rotary kiln. It gets calcined at about 120 degrees Celsius to form calcium sulfate hemihydrate, which is plaster of Paris. At a higher temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, gypsum further loses its water of crystallization and changes into Ca. SO4, which is dead burnt plaster. It is worthwhile to mention here that dead burnt plaster does not set into a solid mass when added to water. To sum it up, we now know that plaster of Paris is a white colored powdery substance which combines with water vigorously with the evolution of heat and sets into a hard porous mass in 5 to 10 minutes. Thus, it is used for the setting of fractured bones and sealing laboratory apparatus. Plaster of Paris is prepared by heating gypsum to a temperature of about 120 degrees Celsius. Want to know more about the chemistry of acids, bases and salts? Stay tuned and watch our upcoming videos to learn more about them. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.